Okay, hi Virgos, welcome back to my channel. Guys, if you are new here, welcome. And if you are returning, thank you so much for supporting the channel. So we're going to go ahead and do a general message for my Virgos that are dealing with an air sign, an Aquarius, Libra or a Gemini. Now this is a general message, so it may not resonate with everyone. Just take what resonates for you and leave the rest. Anybody interested in a personal reading, my information is always down below. Thank you to those who do reach out for those and thanks to those who donate to the channel and to those of you who do subscribe. It's very much appreciated. So I do hope that everybody is well, okay? Cross Watcher, if you are in here, feel free to flip the rolls. But Spirit, what is the energy here for the collective? What is the strongest energy here? For my Virgos dealing with an air sign. An Aquarius, Libra or a Gemini. Give me a card for now and a card for going forward. Thank you, Spirit. Virgo's dealing with an air sign. So you have it coming out in the reverse. Um, in the upright, it says the only thing harder than letting go is moving on. But it is coming out in the reverse, okay? So I don't know if somebody feels like they are getting over something here or, you know, they're able to kind of move forward. But let's see. Show me the energy going forward. And then going forward, we have the hanged man. Now, the hanged man, yeah. Bottom of the deck, you have freedom is a state of mind. So again, with the death card and the star card, what I was kind of saying, someone here may have healed from a certain situation, right? The death card talks about... Um, I want to say spiritual growth or um, just endings and new beginnings. It feels like someone here may have accepted something. Um, and then you have this hangman energy, which talks about someone who is taking some sort of temporary pause to look at something from a different perspective. Show me more spirit because they are showing me something, but give me some more cards. Virgo is dealing with... An air sign. What is the only thing harder than letting go is moving on in reverse? We have the main male, okay. And what's the hangman? And we have the journey. So there's this energy of completion, moving on, relocating with the journey card. But it seems like someone's stuck about this. And it is kind of confirming for me a little bit about the energy I was picking up. But give me some more cards. What is this main male? You have the mouse turning over. I'm also seeing the woman and the ring. Hmm. No, this lighting. It kind of makes me feel like someone here is afraid of somebody moving on and... It could be about them moving on and, you know, kind of going into a new relationship or committing to someone else here with the woman and the promise um, ring card, right? The ring card talks about commitment, partnership, deals and contracts here. But I'm asking what is this main male and then this mouse is coming out and the mouse is a number 23, which boils down to a number five, which talks about change. But the mouse also talks about someone who may be under some sort of stress or nervousness or, um, yeah, it feels like fear. What is the hangman and the journey? I feel like that wanted to come out. What was that? The birds. So you have the crossroads coming out here. And what is this? The sun. Yeah, it feels like somebody's stuck about somebody entering some sort of positive energy, um, entering some sort of, a, I guess, a very successful or victorious time here. 
The sun talks about a positive outcome in a situation. Now, the crossroads talks about choices. It can talk about maybe someone here is regretting, maybe being hesitant um, when it comes to making some sort of decision when it comes to you, Virgos, okay? Um, but the crossroads also talks about a separation. It almost feels like for some of my Virgos that someone here maybe thought that you would be back by now. The world and the judgment. Yeah, someone here is awakening to something, realizing that, okay, do you know what? Maybe something here isn't um, salvageable. What is this from my Virgos dealing with an air sign? What is the main male and the mouse with the moving on card? I mean, out sideways, the six of pentacles. You have the ten of wands. You have the Empress coming out here. Clarify the Six of Pentacles. Alright, that was the King of Pentacles. What is this? The Nine of Pentacles. What's the Six of Pentacles and the Nine of Pentacles? Now, if that King of Pentacles did come out, that would have made the Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, the Eight of Wands. It's almost like, and then you have the Page of Swords. It feels like someone here is spying on you. They're very curious about, you know, what it is that you're doing. They could be very curious about something that you said here with the Eight of Wands energy. But the Eight of Wands does talk about, you know, rapid growth, right? It talks about um, movement, action, momentum. You know, it's that kind of energy here. What is the Page of Swords? What's the Page of Swords? The Sun card and coming out sideways is the Queen of Wands. I feel like this is someone who sees you in an energy of confidence, okay? They see you kind of almost like the Knight of Swords is what I'm seeing. You kind of, um, how would you say it? Almost like grabbing opportunities. Where is the Knight of Swords? Yeah, that's, I feel like that's what I want to say, seizing opportunities here, right? There's there's an energy here of, of you not slowing down here, Virgos, or just you kind of chasing your dreams or going after, you know, your hopes and your dreams, your wishes, your goals, those kind of a things. Give me one more on the Page of Swords and the Sun. Five of Wands and the Ace of Wands. There may be competition for um, your attention for some of you. But for some of you, I don't know if there is some sort of conflict that is going on about maybe something that you do for work here. Okay. Like I said, the Ace of Wands can talk about new beginnings. It can talk about you creating something. But but it feels like you, you're pushing forward. Page of Wands at the bottom of the deck. Yeah. What's the Six of Pentacles? The moon, the wheel of fortune, the three of pentacles, and the two of swords. For some of my Virgos, there may be an energy here where somebody maybe tried to pay for something. And it could have been maybe tried to pay to cause you some sort of delays here, right, with this two of swords energy. Now, for others of you, it's not going to be that, okay? For others of you, this may even be someone that wants to kind of give an equal give and take to the situation, but they're at a stalemate here. What's the um, Two of Swords? Landed on the Eight of Wands, the Lovers, Gemini Energy. What's the Ten of Wands? Because the Ten of Wands, yes, it's a number 10, and it talks about um, 
again you know the energy of endings but the ten of wands talks about someone who may be carrying a lot of burdens it can talk about stress and it can talk about anxiety it can talk about something being too difficult okay it can talk about something being a struggle you have the king of wands coming out here aries leo sagittarius energy what is the ten of wands with the king of wands i feel like this may still be this air sign okay and it just feels like an energy of whoa wait a minute <laughs> it just feels like an energy of them wanting to take some action you know the king of wands is someone who is a visionary right usually i explain the king of wands sometimes as someone who once they set their eyes on something you know they eventually will get up and go after it here okay now i'm seeing the king of wands i'm seeing a king of cups and i'm seeing a queen of cups energy here well who is the king and the queen of cups coming out The Knight of Cups in the reverse. Now, what I'm noticing is that the King and the Queen of Cups actually have their back turned to each other, okay? Whereas if they were paired this way, they'd be facing each other. I feel like for some of you, this may have been someone who didn't express how they feel, okay? You have this Knight of Cups coming in the reverse, which can talk about an energy of unrequited love. And maybe, like I said... Maybe someone here has moved on and they don't actually have the same feelings for somebody here anymore, right? But it feels like someone is struggling with that. Well, why don't you have the same feelings anymore? I don't know. Maybe because, like I said, maybe this is someone with the Six of Pentacles who was given to more than one person, right? Maybe with the Nine of Pentacles energy coming out here, they never really committed to you. It's going to be different energy for different people. But the Knight of Cups in the reverse can also talk about someone who is a heartbreaker. It can also talk about an energy of manipulation or maybe somebody that maybe you had a one night stand with or maybe you were dealing with a cheater. For some of you, maybe this is someone who is attached to somebody else, but they maybe they kind of step outside of that relationship, right? With the King of Wands energy. Maybe this is someone who is easily roped into kind of temptation here. This kind of makes me feel like someone who may be in something with somebody, but they have a wandering eye. And for others of you, Knight of Cups in the reverse. What is the King and Queen of Cups? Show me more. A Queen of Wands. There's a lot of people here. Who are all these people, Spirit? Who are all these people? The Two of Swords, show me more. The Ace of Swords landed on the Empress. Judgment and the Ten of Pentacles. Now, this may be for just one Virgo in here. Give me another card. But you may have had a lot of people working against you, trying to make your life very difficult in terms of you mo moving forward, in terms of, yeah, the world card, in terms of, you know, trying to affect your finances. Yes, the Three of Pentacles, a group of people, you know. But you see, King of Wands, Ten of Wands tells me that maybe something here wasn't successful. Um, this is really strange. Uh... Someone could have even sent someone towards you to maybe affect your emotions. But um, what is the Ten of Wands and the King of Wands? The Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, someone sees something is turning in your favor. They see that good luck is on your side here, right? Some of you could be dealing with a soulmate. doesn't have to be. What is this Empress? You have the Knight of Wands. What's the Empress with the Knight of Wands? And you have the Three of Pentacles. Five of Swords, the bottom of the deck with the Four of Cups, Eight of Swords. Some of you could have rejected someone's offer. I don't know if someone's plan was to come in and, you know, get you pregnant here. Um, but what is the Knight of Wands, or well, that's a desire? Maybe you already have children with this person. Clarify these three cards. Knight of Wands, the Empress, Ten of Pentacles. Show me more. 
Page of Wands landing on the King of Wands. And then you have the Moon card. What's the Moon card? The Two of Wands. Someone here it is, almost feels like they're trying to plan something. For some of you, you need to be careful because it feels like someone here maybe it may have something to do with money or finances here with this Ten of Pentacles out here. Now, for others of you, this may be someone who sees like long term, you know, with you or they feel like, um, you know, they want to build a family or legacy or something here with you. Ace of Cups, Three of Cups. This person may be obsessed with you here. I feel like it's a missed opportunity. I feel like for some of you, you're too busy, kind of. It's that kind of an energy where you're too busy winning here. I don't know. Something just doesn't feel right about this energy. But sh what's the hangman and the journey? The death card, the high priestess. Show me more. The emperor landing on this main male. Clarify the death card. You have the eight of pentacles. Yeah, it's something to do with someone's work here. I don't know. You could do something in divination for your work here with the high priestess out here, right? Maybe you come across as very mysterious. Maybe you just have very strong intuition. Queen of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck with this page of Pentacles in the reverse. Now, I don't usually take my cards in the reverse. I feel like that was in the reverse from earlier. But show me more. Death card and the Eight of Pentacles. Coming out sideways is a blockage. Yeah, so it's almost like, I don't know. It's almost like somebody here took some sort of risk here. But this is also telling me that you are free from something, the fool and the death. Definitely is an energy of freedom, okay? This also is an energy of definitely new beginnings. So someone here, maybe, I don't know, maybe you're getting a new job or something like that here. And then you have this page of swords. Someone's watching you. What's the high priestess? The world, yeah. I don't know if you do something online, okay, with the world card. But it's almost like someone here was trying to affect you, your success, your achievements. Again, uh, just maybe stopping you from moving forward. They, someone here could have been trying to um, interfere with some sort of travel plans or something like that. Ten of Swords, backstabbing, betrayal. What's the Ten of Swords? This is also bad mouthing. This is also lies, gossip, okay? This is an energy of bitchiness, you know, here. But you see, what is good is that the fool, even if it is something about gossip or lies or something like that, the fool represents innocence. What is the Ten of Swords? What is the Ten of Swords? The Three of Cups, I'm telling you, people working together or this is about your celebrations, your Two of Pentacles, someone here wanted you to struggle or they wanted to cause you some sort of, um, maybe someone here wanted you to juggle uh, when it comes to your finances. Tower at the bottom of the deck with the Five of Pentacles and there's that King of Swords with the Seven of Swords. For some of you, this is someone who is a liar, they're a thief, they're a cheat. This is someone who's smiling your face but has underlying motives. This is someone who I feel like if they had some sort of gain out of a situation, it wouldn't take them not even a second to stab you in the back here, okay? Three of swords with the nine of wands and the six of wands. This is someone who is heartbroken. Why? Because they couldn't stop you. Because you are still moving forward. Because you are still being persistent, right? You're coming off as very resilient here. Hmm. I just heard, be careful what you invest in. 
new one for the high priest is actually let me keep that ten of swords what's this um emperor energy this could be someone who likes control power or at least that's how they like to be seen the emperor energy is a father figure okay um six of cups show me more about the emperor and the six of cups And you have the Queen of Swords. Mm. Now, the Queen of Swords is someone who is honest and truthful. So, like I said, this energy of innocence coming out here, Virgos. I don't know if it's about something that you said, right? Queen of Swords, honest, truthful, clear and direct. Yes, she can come across very harsh. But it's because she's not vibrating from a heart space. Because she knows where that has got her before. OK, this is someone who's coming across as very clear thinking, right, using the, their discernment here. And maybe you're going to have to use your discernment in a situation as well, Virgos. OK, but um, there could also be something coming up about the past. Now, it's either this person, I don't know if I said it, it's either this person has heavy fire in their chart or there is a fire sign involved here. Knight of Wands, King of Wands. What's this Queen of Swords saying? Thank you, Spirit. The Strength card landed right on the Nine of Pentacles. Your energy here, Virgos. Yeah. Tower, Magician, the Lovers. Yeah, there definitely could be a Gemini, heavy Gemini involved in this situation, okay? The Magician is Gemini, the Lovers is Gemini. You've got this Five of Wands and the Sun card. I don't know if somebody paid this person to do something, but yeah, Ten of Cups. Yeah, Hangman, Six of Wands. <laughs> Someone's confused. All right, um, what's the energy in love? Virgo's dealing with an air sign, Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini. So we have worth waiting for. It says divine timing is at work in your love life. You've got reconciliation at the bottom of the deck with express your love. What's the energy here? So we have unsatisfied. It says, I wasn't happy. It says, I wasn't happy the way things were going. I don't know if somebody crying. She got a whole load of toilet paper in her hand. You have holding back. It says, I should have expressed myself better. And then you have gossip. It says, landed on that main mail, it says, I'm afraid of what other people will think. So is this someone that's working against you, but they really have feelings for you? What is this? We have unappreciated, it says, I felt like you didn't care. Coming in the reverse, damage, look how it came. <laughs> look how it came in the reverse, okay? Now in the upright, it says damage. It says, we are both hurting from this. It's in the reverse, okay? And this is in the reverse. The only thing harder than letting go is moving on. Someone here has let go. Someone here is not damaged from a situation. Someone here has healed. And someone here is like, no, they ain't. <laughs> and Spirit is clearly showing this person, well, yes, they have. All right, Spirit. What's the energy in love? Coming out sideways <laughs> is a blockage. What did I just say? <laughs> Landed on that king of wands. I'm sorry. <laughs> this is just ridiculous. I, I can't. Um, coming out sideways, it says unexpected outcome. Things didn't go the way I planned. <laughs> and so, because is it because things didn't go the way someone planned is why they're gossiping about you and maybe that ten of swords lying and you know bad mouthing you is someone here feeling a bit bitter is that ego been bruised <laughs> what are we doing <laughs> <laughs> 
Show me the energy going forward because, yeah. The power of three, I'm telling you. I don't know, there's a group of people here. Uh, listen. Yeah, it feels like an energy, almost like an energy of bullying. But how do you bully the Nine of Pentacles? <laughs> Power of three. This is someone who had to group up with other people to try and take you down, Virgos, and still failed. <laughs> you got a liar at the bottom of the deck. It says, be careful of someone sneaky. Yeah, it's for some of you, be careful because look at this. <laughs> you got air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. They'll be back. Expect to hear from them soon, but they are a liar. See energy going forward. Yeah, they'll be back. What's this power of free? You have a guardian. It says a lost loved one watches over you. Okay, so then let them come. <laughs> you got your ancestors and angels around you. You have manifest. It says tell the universe exactly what you want. And that did land on that king of wands. And the wheel of fortune is there. But the ten of wands is there also. Okay, so I don't know if this person has been trying to manifest you in. What's that manifest? Or they just see that you are manifest. What is manifest? Spirit, speak to me. The <laughs> earth sign. <laughs> Your energy. You're too busy, man too busy manifesting here. Mm. Okay. <clears throat> so very quickly, how are we doing for time? Virgo's dealing with a Gemini. You have moves in silence, yeah. Virgo dealing with Gemini. You have impersonator. Landed on that six of pentacles. It says wants to be you, acts like you, dresses like you, looks like you and copies you. I mean, I want to say something, but... <laughs> Show me more. I'm getting something about this Gemini. They see something about how people treat you or maybe the love or respect that maybe you get from other people or if you have like well wishes or supporters or things like that kind of an energy. Um, but that Six of Pentacles to me as well talks about an energy of charity. So they could maybe want some sort of finances out of you. Yeah, you have played out, yeah. This Gemini is old news. It's like <laughs> Virgo's dealing with a Libra. You have an offer. Virgo's dealing with a Libra. You have given money. Mm, do I want to take that? No. All right. Virgo's dealing with a Libra. And you have ain't shit in the reverse. Okay, so for some of those um, dealing with a Libra, you may have a Libra that wants to work with you, okay? Um, I feel like this is an offer. Um, <clears throat> I don't know why the ain't shit... I mean, I feel like this is someone who sees your worth with the ain't shit in the reverse, right? Someone here maybe sees your value. So, Virgo's dealing with an Aquarius. An Aquarius, you have wolf in sheep's clothing. And I just heard for some of you, right, with this Aquarius energy, someone here may try to come towards you and act like they've healed or, you know, they may try to come towards you in high spirits or something like that. But Aquarius, you have a stalker. It says stalking, watching and obsessed. Yeah, and then you have thief. It says robbed, lost, theft. It says physical, or emotional. So you may want to watch out for an Aquarius. I wouldn't personally trust a Libra. I mean, a Gemini. Um, but I don't know. For some of you, you know, you may be okay with a Libra. I don't know. But that is what I have for you. So if anything has resonated with you, Virgos, I do ask that you hit the thumbs up for me. Subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification bell so you know when I upload. But if this is where we part, guys, stay safe. Love and light, Virgo.